All right, so um, everybody act natural. We'll cut some of this out. Um, just a quick uh, intro. Hi, my name is Brad Bergamini. I'm with Keller Williams and the Bergamini Group. Uh, we've been sponsoring the Badger football season, and we are privileged to have some players and Coach Collette here to just uh, – have a quick conversation about the upcoming game and uh, the possibility of, of going into the playoffs as well as just some, you know, just some random things about what's going on uh, with Badger football. Anyways, um, I'd like you guys to go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Start with Coach. I'm Cody Collette, the head football coach at Prescott High School. I'm Ryan Smith, um, uh, safety for Prescott High School. What's your What's your number, Ryan? Uh, number twenty five. All right, we need to know those numbers because as we're watching, we got to cheer for the streak that's going down the the field. Uh, I'm Landon Francis. I'm number seventy two, and I play linebacker and right guard. Uh, hi, my name's Kim McKelvey. I'm number twenty three, and I'm a linebacker, running back. And and all three of you are juniors, correct? Yes, At Prescott yes. High School. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, um, we'll just dive in a little bit. I mean, Coach was just telling us a, a little bit about uh, what's coming up next. We have a game this Friday with? Mingus. Mingus, okay. And it's a, it's a, a pivotal game. It's a crucial game for us, no question. It always is with Mingus. I really enjoy that rivalry a lot. A um, ton of respect for the Mingus program. Their kids always play really, really hard. And we're looking forward to the chance to compete against them. They're a really, really solid offensive team. And um, uh, with a victory, uh, that would that would be some good things for us. It's a possibility we could host a playoff game, which hasn't happened since 1993. Um, uh, we would lose the tiebreaker, but we'd finished uh, tied for first in the region for the third time in the last five years. So there's a lot at stake, but uh, at the end of the day, it's still a high school football game that uh, we're really privileged to, for our kids to get the opportunity to compete. Okay. Well, let me just um, start off, Coach. Uh, tell me a little bit about the philosophy that you have towards coaching. I know, um, you, know my, you know my son, obviously. Uh, he's a coach as well, and I know – Coaching's more than just football. It has more to do with uh, bringing up young men and things like that. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, my philosophy as a coach has always been to develop them as people first, as students second, and as athletes third. Obviously, we want to get the most out of them on the field, but um, we're not going to sacrifice our principles in order to do that. So that's something that means a lot to us in our program. I feel like if a young man's involved in our program for four years, they should leave a better person. And we try to model that just like everybody else. Um, you know, our coaches make mistakes and things, but we uh, – try our best to be good people day in and day out. And when our head hits the pillow, we're hoping that we were a good person for that day. Excellent. Appreciate that. Um, you know, kids, kids have opportunities in life to learn a little bit more than just, you know, the, the school academics. And I think any kind of high school sport can, can help them do that. So, uh, I appreciate your effort in that. Um, players, let's, uh, let's just hear from you real quick. Um, you know, all three of you, uh, maybe one of you field this real quick, and then we'll go to the next one. How, Ryan, how long have you been playing uh, football? Uh, this is my fourth year playing football. Okay. Um, hey, did you play earlier uh, peewee ball? or? or yeah, you... I played eighth grade year, and it was, a, it was my first year, so it was different for me. But I had a lot of fun, and I decided to keep going in okay. high school. Uh, Landon, exactly uh, – why football? I mean, I, it's probably because you're a small guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty small, you know. But I just like to play football because I like to go out there, hate kids, and at the end of the day, see what happens. Okay. Um, and, you know, just real quick while you have the mic, uh, what about uh, what about this season or at least the, uh, the uh, playing in the last few games? What about that's a little bit different or kind of special to you? Uh, I just feel like this season we've all became really close with each other and like we've all got to know each other as a team and we're becoming one solid family this year. Very cool. Very cool. Um, it's Kian, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Kian, just, uh, you know, what's what's the best part of uh, competing as a, as a football player? Well, there's so many highs with football and there's it's just such a great environment as a team. And I just think it's really different than every other team sport 
because of how well it bonds us together. Sure. And in the locker room and on the field, I just feel like every week I'm going out there and fighting with my brothers. Okay. So it's just like a great experience overall. Sure. Um, very cool. Um, real quick to academics wise, how, you know, and it sounds like uh, I've been told you guys are, you have a pretty decent, you have to have a pretty decent academic mm-hmm. year in order to play, which is always a, a good incentive. Um, academically, how is that? What, what do you have to have? Um, in order to be there's eligible. grade checks every few weeks. Okay. And it's always really helpful because we know that we have to keep on it because it's hard to get lost in the football and the sports sometimes. So we know that school comes first before athletics and it's really great having that environment and it's having these coaches to support us in the classroom as well as on the field. All right. So, um, all right, let me just do a real quick, uh, you know, it's funny. Um, I've got some questions that were developed by a, a mother of an athlete that's playing right now. Um, and actually she asked, how's the locker room environment before the game? <laughs> usually, um, you know, prior to, uh, a couple months ago, I was usually pretty tense and nervous. Um, the players are usually pretty more relaxed. Um, since, uh, you know, my heart attack, I've started to, uh, realize a little bit, uh, that it is just a game. I mean, it's a really important game and I love it. Um, outside of my family and my faith, uh, it's probably the most important thing in the world to me. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is still a game. So I've kind of enjoyed being back, uh, because it's been, I've been a lot more loose before games. Uh, the players have been, um, we're a little bit of slow starters. Um, we, our guys are a little bit, uh, kind of like the boxers that need to take a punch before they're ready to punch back a little bit. And we're hoping to, to work on that a little bit here uh, in the next few weeks. Um, but uh, I would say it's loose, especially when you get to week 10 and, and things like that. Um, kids are excited to play. We, we realize what a blessing it is to get to play this great game. And if I can say something, I love all the sports. But the one thing that I think sets football apart, in my opinion, is we're in such an instant gratification society. And in all the other sports, there's the club scene, and you get to play games all the time. I don't know how many baseball games these kids and basketball games these kids sure. play in a given year, but it's with club sports, I'll bet you it's close to 100. And in football, you get 10. Last year, they got eight because of COVID. You get 10. You have to put the practice and work ratio compared to the game is really, to me, what makes it so special. Yeah, I agree. It's 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 fun watching the kids because um, you're not you can miss only one game and miss a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where where you're watching basketball and basketball has such an intense season and they're they're out on the road they're in, in in at home quite a bit and you miss a game and you're you know you're not scrambling to figure out where they're at. Uh, baseball is the same. Um, you're right. There's a lot of preparation for for that one space, and I I kind of feel like that that is similar to life. You really only get a few chances, and you mess up those few chances. You don't have a thousand others. You've got one or two. So I I, I like the uh, parallel there. It, um, it it does parallel real well. My mic is slipping real quick, so I'm gonna hold on to it. So uh, a couple other questions real quick. Um, you know, this is a, another question from a different mom that uh, has a cheerleader, <laughs> um, my wife, uh, asking, um, should we be driving to Mingus to root for uh, the Prescott team and why? I can, well, I can field that one if you want. It's Veterans Day, and I don't know what's more American than being under those Friday night lights um, on a Friday night in the fall. I think it's... Uh, one of the most special things in the world and um, county rivals, Mingus Prescott, big game, a lot at stake, um, two pretty good teams. And uh, I, to be honest with you, I don't know what could be more fun on a Friday night than that. Sure. So if, if you we're, we're going to try to post this uh, this afternoon. Um, so if you're listening to this, Mingus is not a long drive away. It is, it's, you know, you can get it in, over there in less than an hour. Um, the the uh, facilities are great. And, uh, you know, again, it's, it, it's a good time. Uh, boys, answer that question. How much, how much does it matter when you hear 
the 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 roaring of the crowd or or somebody who's rooting for you well you know, it's always nice to know that you know, there are people out there supporting us especially whenever they have their whole student section and everything to know that like when we make a big play that there's people out there cheering for us too it's not just them that's getting all the cheer i just think it's the best feeling in the world when you can go to their field and their home and then you have your people there with you yeah. and then when you make a big play and it sounds is their whole crowd and you have People in our student section going crazy. That's just great. Because. I I do know that um, the closest rival we have is Bradshaw, and de- you know depending on which field it's at, it's it it is nice to hear both sides just giving it their all to to support their team. Mm. So, um, anyways, uh, is there anything other than uh, you know the obvious pressures of a game? That uh, that you're expecting tomorrow or tomorrow that uh, that you're you know you wouldn't normally have, coach. Um, like I said, uh, I think uh, the last couple of months have brought me a little bit more perspective. I'm just looking forward to getting uh, to see the kids compete and play, and uh, we're excited about that. We've had a good week of practice, and I, I want to keep going because it's a fun group to be around. It's a really fun group to coach and. I hope we get to do this uh, till uh, December. That would be awesome. Uh, but we gotta uh, play our best football. We don't. One of the things we don't focus in our program. We don't talk about wins or losses. We don't set goals of winning this championship or that. We're uh, as a, as coaches and myself. I'm fully invested in the John Wooden philosophy, which is success is defined by becoming the best you're capable of becoming. Uh, I think people get too caught up in in aiming for this goal as a championship or whatever. Um, I, the best you're capable of becoming is the best you can do. Sure. And that's what we work on on a daily basis. And, and we do have a lot of talent. So I think the best we're capable of becoming could be a, a special season for us. And we've done some good things this year. Um, but we're excited to get the chance to play. And what a blessing it is to be out there to play Mingus in a big game. And I'm looking forward to seeing our kids compete. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing how football coaching uh, and – Business are very tied together. Um, I can tell you that uh, I've always said that we never compete with anyone other than ourselves. Um, and boys, as you start, you know, getting older and getting out of uh, high school, just remember.